studying Japanese at St. John's College. Yeah, and today you're in my room. I live outside of the college in a place near Rich called Richmond Terrace, which is honestly like a minute's walk from the college, so it's not too far, but it's a um, graduate accommodation. Um, when, you're, when you're doing a languages degree, if you take a year out, it means that when you come back, you're usually considered a graduate and can get a pick of the best kind of accommodation you want. Yeah, comfy bed, it's, you know, you got your average, well, since you're in fourth year, I think you get a bigger kind of pin board, you know, average bookcase, it's your desk, wardrobe, drawers. It's nothing too fancy, but it does the job, you know. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> a cheeky bit of anime. History books, textbooks. You know, your average kind of like notes for class are all up here. You know, like trusty handbooks. So these two pictures here are some of like, my favorite things. They are little pictures that a few kids drew for me when I worked at a kindergarten in Japan. So I really, they're really cute. So I thought I'd pin them up on my wall. <laughs> and um, over here, we've got my dissertation planning. So I'm doing a dissertation on the relationship between North Korea and Japan, which is pretty crazy and there's a lot going on, so I thought that I'd just type up my notes just so I can see them. But yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is just a, a really cute card I got. It was one of the coolest cards I've ever gotten because on the bottom is a cute little message written in Japanese. Well, yeah, it's, it's, it's just um, a message from my boyfriend's mother. Didi chan e. Kono neko no yoni kaoru wa aki o sogoshiteiru. と思うので早くに本にまた戻ってきてくれるのをみんなで楽しみに楽しみにしています。あれと。Okay, <笑> so I chose to study Japanese at Cambridge because I was looking for a massive challenge. Um, in high school, I studied French and I really enjoyed it. And I thought that maybe if I learn another language, that perhaps one that was more challenging and a bit different, like really different to my native um, language, that would be really fun. And so I thought to myself, well, if I want to do kind of a crazy language like Japanese, I want to go to you know somewhere that does it incredibly well, you know, the best. And so I thought, you know, one of the best in the UK is probably Cambridge. And so I visited. I had a summer school actually for modern and medieval languages for about four days by the Sutton Trust. And I just, I loved it. It was fantastic. There was a great sense of community here. And so I thought maybe if I studied it at Cambridge, it not only would be really challenging, but just really fun. And I'd get on with the people really well. So this house has three floors. So two are on the ground floor, two bedrooms are on the ground floor. One bedroom's on the second floor and one's on the third floor. We also have a shared bathroom with a bathtub and a shower and a toilet, obviously. Hey. Come on. So this is the kitchen. Yep. Actually, it's a pretty decent size. Like, for four people, it's a tiny bit crowded in the mornings, but it's all right. Yeah, for four people. Yeah. Cool. And you have an oven? Yeah, we have a full oven, which is the best thing ever. Um, yeah. Big cupboards. Oh, here. Oh. Big cupboards. A massive fridge. So, yeah. Yeah, you do have a very big fridge. So it's like really fun. nice. Yeah, dirty dishes, <laughs> you know, clean dishes. Yeah, it's just a really nice place. I'm I'm really glad to have a kitchen where I can see my friends every day. I think living in a house together is really great. So I, I really recommend it in your final years. It's something I really look forward to. So St John's accommodation kind of works like this. So as you get older 
the choice of a legend of um, combination gets a bit nicer. So in your first year, you, you usually stay in um, North Court, Chapel Court, or Cripps Building, and then your second year, you're allowed to have like slightly older um, rooms and say New Court. And then as you get a bit older in, st in third year, you get access to some of the best rooms in the college. Again, um, prices vary, so you can have incredibly expensive ones that are quite, you know, large. Or if you're, you know, on a bit of a budget, like myself, I, you know, you can choose slightly a more modest sized room. But everything basically does the same thing, and most rooms are quite nice. In fact, in my case, since I'm a fourth year, and I have a few friends who are also fourth years doing languages, I thought we could all share um, a grad house together, which is also one of the options. You can live outside of college in hostel accommodation with your friends, I think, in your third or last year. So either for me it's fourth year, I'm living with a, my master's student. It just means we can all live in the same house and have the same kitchen and see each other every day, so it's really nice. In terms of prices? Oh, prices, I think it really can vary, I think, from £1,200 on the kind of cheaper end per term, and this yeah, is including we... holidays. Um, you, you're free to stay during holidays, um, it's kind of your own choice. You can go home or you can stay all winter. Yeah, or this all, is different from spring. most colleges. I yeah, I think St John's kind of privileged in the fact you're allowed to stay during your holidays. But essentially, 1200 for your kind of cheaper end ones. Per term? I, yeah, per term, and then probably around maybe 2000 I think, for quite large, quite modern rooms with all the fur furnishings in them. The college actually gives me a very generous studentship, which is essentially a bursary, a means-tested bursary, um, that covers my living costs, so it covers my rent and my food and any textbooks that I might require. So it's, it's really one of the best things about being in college is the fact that they're so generous and can really help someone with my kind of financial background out. Okay. If you're interested in maybe going to St John's College and if you have a kind of low income, perhaps a low income family, and you're considering, you know, sort of worrying about the cost maybe of going to St. John's, please check here. And you should have a link to talk about the studentships a bit more and explain about what they do.